So you've been doing your research and you found that books on eBay sell well and you want to get in on the action. Now you want to check with your supplier to see what types of books they do offer or let's say you have a few books sitting around that you want to sell, whether they are new books or used books. Hey guys, Ella here from Zeek Analytics and in this video, I'm going to show you how using Zeek Analytics can help you find selling opportunities for those books just by using the category research tool as well as the product research tool. Let's start with the category research tool in Zeek Analytics, which will give us information about the top selling books on eBay. The category research tool is located right here on the left. Now once in the category research, the first thing you need to do is scroll down to find the category books and then just go ahead and click on it. And when you do click on the category, this category up here will be filled out as well. Now, in the instance that you do happen to have a specific book or a genre, you can use the category research as well. And you may actually type that in right here, which is your specific book or your specific genre. This will actually narrow your search down, but for right now, we're just looking for the general results on the best-selling products under the main category books. Once we have books in our main category, we're going to go over some of these filters. For listing type, we're going to go ahead and select all listings. And for shipping location, we're going to select the United States. Now the cool thing here that Zeke offers you is that you can actually play with the condition of the product that you want to sell. So if you have used books, you would select the condition as used. And if you're wanting to sell new books, you would select the condition as brand new. This will allow all of the information that Zeke gives you to be more relevant to the product condition you want to sell. Now, my suggestion is to run a search for both. That way you can see what is offered in each search result. For this example, I will keep it on brand new for the condition and then just go ahead and click on the search button. Now here you will get all of the results under the category books. And I'm actually not even gonna go through the statistics right now because the stats are really not that relevant at this stage. Don't get me wrong, they're important, yes. They can give us information about the niche in the category. But when we're doing such a broad search, the statistics are less important. When we do narrow our search down to a specific book in the next part to look for the selling opportunities, that's when we will look at the stats in a different way. So let's go ahead and scroll down here to the Google Trends Graph. This is a great tool to use to understand the market. For this search, the graph shows a pretty consistent trend. Now let's scroll down to the most important part, which is the product list. Now let me explain the product list to you from left to right and what all of this information actually means. So here under seller, we have the seller name and the flag of where they come from. Here this icon means you can scan the seller, which means you can jump right into, let's say their profile and see what other items they are selling. You can also see their statistics. Now here we have the feedback score of the seller. Next to that, this number means amount of sales. It tells you the lifetime sales of the product, which is located here in the middle. Here you can see the photos as well as the titles of the products. Then here on the right, you can also see the number of sales, total watchers, and of course the price for each product. Now here the location is the location of this item that's being sold. And at the end here we have this icon which is add supplier product manually as well as the scan product icon. 
So now let's do some research on some of these products that are being sold on eBay. Now the best thing for you to do is check out the top three or four items that are being sold the most on eBay and get as much information about them as you possibly can so you know what to look for with your supplier when trying to sell books on eBay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the titles of the top three products that are being sold on eBay and this will actually open up the products here on eBay where we can get the most information. All right, so this first book is selling for $47. It's The Lost Ways. And when you scroll down to get a little bit more item specifics, you can see that it is a survival type book. Now the second book here that we opened, we have The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. Now this book is selling for $37. And when we scroll down to item specifics, we can see that this item is school text textbooks and study guides. And the third one that we opened here is Berenstein Bears Phonics Kids Children's Books. Learn to read, I can read lot 12. So this means that this comes in 12 books. So when you order it, you would get 12 books. Now all of these 12 books cost $14.89. And when you scroll down here, you can get a little bit more information in its type of book. It's a children's book ages four to eight. So what we can gather from looking at just this information is that these top three books are more informative books and that's actually pretty great information. Now back here in the category research, when we go ahead and scroll down, you can see that there are some Bible books, uh, The Lost Superfoods, which is another survival book, the Declaration of Independence and Constitution of the United States. Now we won't go down any further because what we need to know are the top selling books and we need to be able to gather that information by using the category research. So based on this, we can understand what book or set of books have the highest demand. Now that we've used the category research to find that information, now we have to take this data and convert it into sales. Now you have to check to see if you can make money out of any of these books that we just saw. So we have two options from these results. Option one is to find the books at your local stores, garage sales, and so on, and then sell them on eBay or Amazon for a profit. Your second option is to go to your supplier and look for or ask for these books. Now before you do this, you will want to use the Zeke Analytics product research. So the product research is located right here and I'm actually gonna go ahead and open up three tabs for the product research because I'm going to search for survival books, school textbooks and study guides, as well as children's books. Now here in the first tab, I'm going to make sure that my shipping location is under United States because that's what we searched for in the category research. And my first item that I'm going to select is the survival books and I'm going to do my research on those. Go ahead and click on search. While that's loading here, I'm going to go ahead and search for school textbooks and study guides. I'm gonna put that in my search bar, change my location to the United States, and once I have that, click on search. Now this third here is going to be children's books, so I'm going to go ahead and type that in here and click on search. Now I'm going to go ahead and select all of these items and click on Zeke Selection for all three of my searches. This search in the product research will show you your chances to sell and it will help you understand the demand and the competition. And because you get results from the last 30 days, the results are actually more accurate, which in return, makes the stats much more relevant, making it easy for you to make a decision. All right, so looking at the stats for our survival books. For survival books, out of the top 100 listings on eBay, only 18 sold. So let's just scroll down to the product list and check out what is being sold. So you have the Lost Ways book, which is the number one selling book for $47. The second one is Wild Plants and Bugs for $10. Let's check out the stats for school textbooks and study guides. 
Here, out of the top 100 listings on eBay, you have 27 items that sold. Scrolling down, scrolling down to the product list, you can see that this number one book that's being sold under school textbooks is the Declaration or the Constitution of the United States. And it's being sold for $2.46. And for our third search under children's books, you can see that out of the top 100 listings on eBay, 66 listings sold. So when it comes to selling books on eBay and gathering all of the information, you can see that children's books are your best bet when it comes to selling books on eBay. The sales earnings are over $13,000, which was more than the school textbooks as well as the survival books. The average product price is $19.46. It's not the highest, but it's still a pretty nice price. So now what we can do is scroll down to the product list to check out some of these items that are being sold. So here the first item that's being sold comes in a lot of 12, and it's Petey the Cat children's books box set. It sold 102 times lifetime sales for $13.99. Now looking through this, you can see that most of these children's books come in lots. So here it's mostly, as I can see, a lot of 12. Now the fourth item here is the Diary of a Wimpy Kid. So this is a box of books and this is being sold for $65, 32 lifetime sales. So let's go ahead and open up this first item here and the Diary of a Wimpy Kid. So now because these are phonics books, let's go ahead and copy phonics here. And what we're going to do is open up a new tab here on Amazon and we're gonna type in phonics books and go ahead and click on search just to get a little bit more information about what they're going for on Amazon. And because we did a search on phonics books, and now let's also go ahead and search for the Diary of a Wimpy Kid box set. And we're gonna go ahead and search that on Amazon as well. So here in a new tab, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that, click on search. Here is the same item selling for $55 on eBay. It's being sold for $65. We have some for $75. 98, 79, 34, 28. Now the best thing for you to do is go over Amazon, the books and the prices. It's important you go through Amazon and eBay to find out more information about these products, such as what types of books are being sold the most. Go to your supplier and request these books from them and then get the best profit out of those books. All right, so now that we've covered what to do if you don't have any books to sell, let's now go through the steps you need to take when you do have a book to sell. Now, if you already know what book you want to sell, the process here is much easier. For this, we will need the product research to see if there is anyone selling the book, and if so, for what price and is that book actually generating sales? So I have some used Harry Potter books. So in my search bar, I'm going to type in Harry Potter books. And for my shipping location, I'm going to select the United States. Now here in the product research, you can also play with the condition. You can select brand new or used. I'm going to select the condition as brand new just because mine are in pretty good condition, but once we see the brand new results, we will come back and search for used as well. So once you have your main keywords in the search bar, you've went through the filters, we're just gonna go ahead and click on search. Here, I will select all items and click on Zeke selection. Okay, so here we see that these brand new Harry Potter books, when brand new, have good stats. I mean, they're not the best, but they're okay. So now let's go down to see what the price is for brand new Harry Potter books. You can right away see that these books are being sold individually. So they're not coming in lots like the children's books that we saw earlier. Now the price for one Harry Potter book in brand new condition is $28. 
You have some for 25, 21, and this is depending on what book in the series is being sold. So maybe some have more value than others. Now to check these books in use condition, it's the same process. You go to the product research, put the name of the book in your search bar, down below select condition as used, select all items, click on Zeke selection, and you will get the stats relevant for your search, and that way you will know how much to price your book to make a profit. Another thing you can do is research books that are selling for $1. Then take the time to see how much those same books are being sold for on eBay or Amazon and check out if you can flip them to make a profit while taking into consideration the price, the demand level, and of course the competition. All right guys, so that wraps up our video on how to sell books on eBay. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding this topic, please feel free to comment on this video. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Also subscribe to our channel to get updated on new videos we release. Thanks a lot and see you guys next time.